Lesson 2.5, Modeling Real-World Data. And this is how we use scatter plots. So back to basics. What do we say math was used for? Well, well we're hoping to model the real world. This is a very challenging thing to do. It's what statisticians spend a lot of time doing. We're going to do some very basic linear models. But it's also something that is a very good career. If you can go out and model, okay, we did a test and it would appear that this dosage of medicine does this and so on and so on. Very, very valuable. Um, here's some data. Um, I'll tell you where it's from in a minute. Just to keep it simple, we're going to work off of that side. And uh, it's a hassle to label every one. So we'll label every other one. And I have not actually checked that my data is going to work out nice, but we'll give it a shot. So I'm a little shy on use of space. I'm going to go to freeze. Like I said, I should have checked first. But at the same time, I think this is a um, this is a good process to go through. You see that you know sometimes it takes extra iterations. 2000, one, two, three, one, two, nope, can't do that one either, so I feel like I made a mistake on my first one, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, yeah, that's as good as it gets, 2001, 2002, and maybe I did make a mistake, 2003, 2004, yeah, that'll work fine. And then up the right side here, keyboard, I need to get out of the way. Uh, let's start with 2,800 and about 3,000, 4,000, not quite good enough. So again, I'll skip. This is 3,000, 3,200, 3,400, 3,600, 3,800, 4,000, 200, 4,400, 4,600, 4,800. That's the hard part as far as I'm concerned. 96, we got 2811 right about there. Notice the lack of precision, just getting it close. 2975 right about there. 98, 31, yeah, right about there, 99, 32, 47, about there, 2000, 32, 62, right about there, 2001, 34, 87, right about there, and this doesn't look completely curved, looks like it's tapering off a little bit. 2002, 37.25. Now it looks like it's speeding up. 2003, 4100. And change. 2004, 4700. So, how linear is it? It's definitely going up. I'm going to keep one or two on one side. I don't like that. Nice to have that eraser. One, two, three, four on one side. One, two, three, four on the other. More or less going through this point. Now, I'm going to pick this point. It's nice and clean. And this point, it's nice and clean. So that I have two points here. 1997. And I get 2800. And my other point is... 2005, 4,600. So I've got two points. We're right back where we started. We've plotted the data. We find two points. Slope. Point slope. Slope intercept. 
Notice the two points were not part of the original data set. I like to take two points off the original data set if I can, but it didn't look like the line fit there very well. So I just kind of ballparked it. There's no science to it. You do the best you can. Then you go X1, Y1, X2, Y2, dot, 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 dot. I'd love to see you finish that and see how you do. For purposes of time, I'm going to skip it. Okay. So that's see above. Oh, and by the way, this data was public universities tuition, which I find funny. For one year at a four-year college. Because that seems awfully inexpensive to me, and that's one of the reasons I think the price is going up so much at the end. So I would pause it, try on your own, and uh, we'll see what we can do with this data. And here I go. I'm not liking this. I don't love this one, but I'm going to go a little bit off the graph, which a lot of people think is a big no-no. I don't have a major problem with it, though, because we're pretty close. Um, so 98, just because I know I saw that. It's right there, but I should go back to the beginning. 252, um, 251, 252. A more accurate graph too. 255, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 258, 260, 263, 265, 268, 278, and 273. Oops, this is off a little bit. One, two, three, about there. Good looking line. Didn't draw it real straight, I actually just connected all the dots. Still not quite there. I'm lucky I have the eraser. If you have a straight edge, best way to do this. Really could pick any points. Now, notice I did not pick the first and the last just because I thought they were perfect. I just ran it through as best I could. Whatever they hit, they hit. In this case, it looked like. 1991, 252, and I'm not going to trust that one. I'm going to take 1997. That is incredibly linear. 268, and this time I'm going to do it all. If I were you, I'd stop this, find the slope, find it in point slope, and crank it out from there. So, slope. Now point slope, y minus 252 equals 8 thirds, x minus 1991. And since I'm out of space, I'll just throw that into slope intercept form. We get a nonsensical answer for our y intercept. This is population in the United States. And asking what the y intercept is is saying what was population in the year zero when you know Christ was born or whatever, which doesn't make any sense because the population growth has only been linear in the last hundred years. Um, yeah, so anyway, there it is. 
And let's just take a quick look. What would the population be now? Plugging it into that formula. Says 311. That's how many 311 million people. I wonder how accurate that is. Look it up. See what you got. Now, that's not easy. It's very time consuming. Is there an easier way to do it? You better believe it. Let's put it in our calculator. So we open our calculator. I've given you instructions. It's not easy. I'll definitely leave it at that. Let's clear all these. Hit that and enter. And it gives you a list. So now we put them in. That's it. Now we go to the next list and we put in the, the number of people in millions. And it looks like they match up. I've got the same number in. So now we quit out of that. Stat. We hit calc. We go down here to 4. That's LINREG. It stands for Linear Regression. Hit enter. And we say we want the list L1 and L2. I believe this would actually pick the list L1 and L2. But here's L1, comma, gives me a linear, linear regression. And it says 2.6 minus 48.58. 2 minus 48.58. Y equals 2.6 minus 48.58. Let's do a little comparing. Mine was 8 thirds, which is 2.7. Minus 50.57. And when I put in 311, uh, when I put in 2013, I got 311. So you put in 2013 down here. Gives me a really, really big number, which cannot possibly be correct. I have to double check. Probably made a mistake in my data entry. No, it looks good. Let's see. Let's try it here. 2.57. 2013 minus 4858. 315. So I made a mistake somewhere. They say 315. So we're close. And that's how you fit align to data. It's not an easy thing to do. So, see the uh, info above. 
practice makes perfect. Here's your instructions on how to do it with a calculator. Good luck.